to say I grew up rich. I can't explain that one. Uh, uh, I'm colorblind. Well, that's what that's what the people should be. I think their point about saying I'm not racist is you're just trying to be defensive and declare you're not racist, but you probably are, it's because we all are. It's not their business to try to define what I need, or what they think I need, or what they think I think. And yes, you need to be I, educated. Uh, no, it, that's the thing. They, 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 they're the ones who are deciding what I'm supposed to think and say, and why I'm thinking and saying it? Who the hell put this uh, professor in charge? <laughs> you, talk, you talk about confidence, huh? This guy is so confident, he thinks he can tell everybody else what to say, what to think, and he can tell us why we want to say and think that. Yeah, right. This is going to last long. And some employees are revolting, saying they've worked there a long time. We've never had a problem with discrimination no. or division. We really work together well. This create a By the way, the, head, the CEO retired at the beginning of the year, but apparently uh, this, this, this training is still going on. Yeah. All right, when we come back... Uh, LAPD had a special online Zoom meeting at a town hall for people in LA's Melo Melrose district who are concerned about an uptick in gun crime. We'll talk about it next. Johnny Kent, Chuck, Deborah Marquez News, KFI AM 640. We're not here to make up your mind. We're here to give you the latest. KFI and KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Fatal shooting at a grocery store. I'm Deborah Mark, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. 13 people have been shot at a grocery store outside Memphis. One person has died. The shooter killed himself. Collierville Police Chief Dale Lane says the shooting was, in his words, horrific. I've been involved in this for 34 years and I've never seen anything like it. He says many grocery store employees hid in freezers and locked offices during the shooting. Cold case detectives say they have tracked down the man responsible for three murders in East L.A. L.A. County Sheriff's Lieutenant Hugo Reynaga says Anthony Velasquez murdered a man in 2014, another in 2015, and a woman in 2018. Reynaga says Velasquez's father, Manuel, was also arrested as an accessory and had been seen on surveillance video in a PT cruiser. So the father's the one that was driving him around. That's, that's what it seems like, yeah. All three murders happened within a couple miles of Velasquez's home here on Humphrey Street. In East L.A., Steve Gregory, KFI News. A federal appeals court has overturned the ruling of a judge in L.A., forcing local officials to offer shelter to every homeless person on Skid Row by the middle of next month. The appeals court panel found the district court had abused its discretion. District Judge David Carter had issued the mandatory injunction in April based on a finding that structural racism is the driving force behind L.A.'s homeless crisis. Governor Newsom has signed a bill dedicating more than $15 billion to fight climate change. It's an unprecedented investment uh, by any state uh, in U.S. history. The money will be used to fight wildfires and California's drought, promote sustainability, and protect communities across the state from several climate risks, including extreme heat and rising sea levels. A CDC advisory panel has decided millions of older and vulnerable Americans should get a booster shot of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. I believe the recommendation is adopted, Dr. Cohen. Yes, this motion passed 15-0. Family physician James Lair questioned how much boosters would help keep people out of the hospital, but supported the use. And if we can do a little bit of good by giving boosters to people over 65, I'm in favor of that. But a nurse said during the meeting, She's concerned that giving booster shots will keep the U.S. from moving forward and truly mitigating the pandemic. The shots will be given at least six months after the second dose of the Pfizer vaccine. The Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach is getting ready to wave the green flag. More than 185,000 people are expected to enjoy five racing events through the city this weekend. BMW driver Bill Oberlin is the winningest driver in IMSA history, but says nothing beats racing in his hometown of Long Beach. You have the highest top speed on a street course, so you're doing 180, 185 down the front straight, and then you have some of the tightest course. That last corner, the U-turn, the hairpin, you're doing 30 miles an hour. The three-day event is headlined by the IndyCar Series, but also top sports cars, drifting historic race cars, Robbie Gordon's jumping super truck, and the Lifestyle Expo and Family Fun Zone. At the Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach, Corbin Carson, KFI News. We have a stall on the 210 in San Dimas. 
The highway patrol is telling us that the solid blocking lanes on the eastbound side of Foothill Boulevard is just cleared it into the center divider, but the lake is still backing up, getting away from the 57 freeway. We've got Mike O'Brien taking a look at Corona, KFI in the Sky, sponsored by Injury Attorney, Superwoman, Superlawyer.com. It looks like a little snag here on the 15. 15 southbound, just about to Halco. Looks like that problem just going over the right shoulder. And Daddy Desnoy starts just off the 91 at Magnolia. Now, around the corner of the 91 westbound out of Riverside, just approaching Magnolia into Corona. Bring up a little problem to the right shoulder there, and that's recovering back to about La Sierra. Now, the 91 eastbound, much different story in the Santa Ana Canyon. 91 eastbound, you're jamming up here just about Weird Canyon truck scale. That first stretch is just bumper to bumper over the Green River, and then once again, a tight tension to approach the 15 in Corona. Injured in an accident? Visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com. Mike O'Brien, KFI in the sky. In Irvine, on that 5 south, make that the 405 southbound, we're seeing delays away from Big Parkway all the way to Crown Valley. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Angel Martinez. This hour of the John and Ken Show is brought to you by AIS, auto insurance specialist. Visit AISinsurance.com today. Another pleasant day on tap. We'll talk about that next. Summer ends soon, so hurry in for the final days of the Honda Summer Sales event at the Norm Reeves Honda Superstore. New Hondas are arriving daily and adding to our super selection, which means you can secure a super price when you put your name on your favorite model. Every new Norm Reeves Honda is backed by our exclusive price protection guarantee, which states if you can find the same new Honda for less within five days, Norm Reeves will pay you the difference or buy your vehicle back. Plus, return your Honda lease to any of our five lease return super centers and receive a a super upgrade experience. Put your name on a super new Honda before the Honda Summer Sales event ends. Visit our super award-winning Norm Reeves Honda Superstore location in Huntington Beach, West Covina, the Irvine Auto Center, and the number one Honda store in the world in the Cerritos Auto Square. Plus, we're now open in Vista. Shop online at normreeves.com. That's the Global Honda to be fulfilled 25. Hey, this is Josh Kelly, running back for the Los Angeles Chargers. Vaccinations change the game. Nearly all new COVID-19 deaths are among the unvaccinated. Don't risk it. Protect yourself by getting vaccinated. All the vaccines offer strong protection against variants like Delta, which spread faster and are easier to catch. Getting vaccinated is quick, free, and doesn't just protect you, it protects your family and community. Find a clinic near you at vaccinateall58.com. Play your best defense. Backs up. The KFI Financial Report brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow closed up 506. S&P 500 up 53. NASDAQ up 155. And the average price of a gallon of regular gas in California is 438. Bay Alarm is celebrating 75 years of innovation and personal service that's second to none. Southland weather from KFI, partly cloudy tomorrow, highs low to mid-70s at the beaches, low to mid-80s for Metro LA, mid-80s to mid-90s in the valleys, around 84 for inland OC, upper 80s to low 90s in the IE. Right now, 71 in Dana Point, it's 83 in Anaheim, 90 in West Hills, and 84 in Sherman Oaks. We leave local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Deborah Mark. Johnny Ken Show, John Cobell, Ken Shampoo, KFI, AM 640, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Yeah, well, welcome. The uh, LAPD had a special Zoom meeting last night at Town Hall for concerned residents of the Melrose District of Los Angeles. Of course, very well-known Melrose Avenue, known for its shopping, dining. Anyway, there's been a series of gun crimes that have plagued that neighborhood for quite some time now, and I guess LAPD decided that they would have a special Zoom town hall to address concerns of people who live or work there. You saw those people uh, dining on the street in front of the restaurant at a table. The sidewalk cafe, they got the rob right there, and there. the surveillance video picked up the robbery. So gun robberies are up uh, 18%. And we're going to talk with Don DeLuca. He's the owner of Brooklyn Project, which is a clothing steak shop in the Melrose District. Uh, John, thank you for coming yes, on. Sir. And thank you. Thank you guys for having me. Now, you uh, were on the Zoom meeting talking yep. with LAPD officials. And yep. your quote was, I figured out the riots, I figured out the pandemic, but this whole crime thing, this is beyond any of us. It's like the purge. What's going on? I mean, well, 
again, first of all, thanks for having me. Um, and I mean, yeah, I mean, I've been in business such a long time and coming from Brooklyn, uh, you know, I've been around a lot of, you know, crime growing up. But when I came here, it was never like this. That's why I kind of set up shop on Melrose. And in the 90s, even to the early 2000s, I don't remember anybody getting killed, murdered on Melrose. Nor, I mean, you would hear like a store break in once every eight to ten months. And now, it's literally every day. Every day. And I can't... I can't figure it out, and I've emailed the mayor several times, I've emailed Gascon several times, I've emailed Correct, and all I get is lip service. I get, you know, Gascon, you know, having one of his underlings email me, you know, to talk, to talk. I mean, at this point, there's nothing to talk about. You know, my, my, my business is down 40%, literally 37% from 2019. So nobody comes to Melrose. People text me like, oh, I'm not coming there. You know what I mean? It's too dangerous. Like, people don't want to come here. Tourism is, is done. And the genie's out of the bottle. You know, and now, you know, after yesterday, I see so many cops now on the street. And I think it's a little bit too late. Honestly, it's like, how do you get these people back? And I've, I've on every news station, I've pleaded. I've sent out emails to the mayor. I, I, I spoke, you know, in the camera to the mayor, like, hey, show your face on Lowe's. Assure people it's okay. It's getting better. Because it's it's gonna be it's gonna be done. And you're not gonna bring it back. It's it's not gonna come back. Period. And it hasn't really we we tried to make it come back after the riot. Okay? We we, we did and it was great, but then now it's just like it's just getting worse and worse and worse. And this is like a this is like one big fishbowl for people to come and do crime because they know that they're not going to go to jail, they're not going to they're not going to get harassed by the cops. They're going to do whatever they want to do, and and you know. I, well, I think I think the average person could dismiss the riots as a one-time event, but I think after you see those uh, people get robbed while eating on the sidewalk. And, and there's an accumulation of, of, of similar stories, you realize, all right, this is the way of life here. This isn't a one-time, unusual riot protest event. Now, this, well, is, it, this is what the neighborhood is. It, it, exactly. It, it's almost like, you know, growing up, like I said, in Brooklyn, there is, like, certain areas that, you know, were plagued with violence and, and, and crime that you wouldn't go to. You're just like, okay, oh, I'm not going there. It's kind of crazy over there. Even like coming in LA back in the day, you know, there were certain spots like, oh, you don't want to go there, you know? And it's like, and now Melrose has become that area. It's cricket here. It's, it's crazy when, you know, a year ago or six months ago, even after the riots and looting, it, there was like kind of like a, there was a lot of business. People were coming out of town. They, a lot of people wanted to support. I mean, the neighborhood supported me. The, 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 the state community supported me. They wanted to shop and, you know, bring it back. But now it's like it's not worth their 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 safety. And, it, 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 I, I, you know, I'm speechless because there's obviously, okay, there's obviously a lot of issues. And they don't want to be, they want to get brushed under the carpet. Why do you okay? think they don't care? And I'm talking about Gascon, Perez, Garcetti. Uh, what is the upside to have a really nice shopping district that locals and tourists love? What, 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 what's the upside to have the whole place go out of business over something they can control if they want? You know what? They, they're scared of the backlash of, you know, certain groups. Um, and it's, it's, you know, I'm going to say this right now and, and, you know, take it for what it is. This you know, crime is not a race thing. It's a class thing. And I've said this a hundred times before. You know what I mean? And I think they don't want to say anything for fear of the backlash. You know, look, I talk to, I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the kids that come here, okay, I had kids working for me from the inner city. I, that's all I've been hiring for the last 30 years to give them a, a better, you know, path in life, you know? And... 
the, the word is on the street on the street literally is they know criminals know that it's like it's a candy store they're, they're not going to get in trouble there's there's there, everything is in their favor and i'm not saying like be some sort of like crazy you know you know not just crazy strict you know authoritarian government but at the end of the day it's like hey if, if you do something wrong and, and there's consequences okay i, I came here and I, I tried to learn how to surf okay and i saw a shark in the water and since that day 27 years ago i never went in the water because you know what i know there's a shark there and i'm kind of scared so i know there's a consequence i may get bit so if these criminals know that oh if i get caught no cash bail i'm going to get out that same day and go do it again, which is, these are facts from the cops that, you know, they arrest people for stealing cars, they're out the next day doing it. It's going to continue, because if you know, you know, that something is going to happen to you, then you're not going to do it. And look, I, you know, everybody, I, I mean, I'm speaking for myself, and I know, when we were younger, we did stupid crap, you know, stealing a candy bar from the store or whatever, and you would get beat up, you know, by your parents, or you get like, harassed by the cops and get arrested, and you learn, like, oh, I'm not going to do that anymore, most of the time. But now, if there's no consequence, it's like, hey, you're going to do what you want to do, and Gascon is crooked. I'm not saying, hey, you got changed the whole law, but, hey, you know what? If you steal, it shouldn't be $1,000 or more. It's like, give me a break, make it $200, you know? Make it where it's like, hey, okay, you know, now you know, like, okay, if I'm going to steal something, there's going to be a chance I'm going to go to jail or I'm going to get arrested. And then the whole no cash bail system, it's like, it's, it's, just, it's just insane. You want to make no cash bail, okay, then lower the, uh, lower the amount of money that is considered a felony. Make it 100 bucks. Hey, no cash bail, but if you get caught stealing 100 bucks, you're going to go to jail. And if you get caught with a gun, forget about no cash bail. You're going to jail. You're doing mandatory time for having a ghost gun or a gun. You know, it's, it's, it's you know, and, and unfortunately, which, which really makes me sick and, dis and disgusted, we're here to fend for ourselves, meaning the businesses, the homeowners. You know, I, I was laughing yesterday. You guys were on the, on the uh, Zoom thing when one of the cops was saying, Hey, if you're a homeowner, like put like plants, like 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 cactuses and stuff that deter people. It's like, am I hearing this? Like, that, I, I'm like, where, where am I living? You know, like put cactuses instead of saying, you know what? I mean, you heard that, right? I wasn't crazy. I, I was well, just no, like, I, I didn't house. hear it, but I can believe it. Well, Dom, Dom, we're gonna go. Uh, go. Dom, we want to talk to you again. We yeah, don't want to let this go, all right? We want to see if the extra police and stay ahead of the effect, all right? And it's, you know, we want to and, and we want to make things better. We want to help at least. And try to publicize. You know what's going to help? I, get, I, I know get, that's get a real, but go ahead. Get that stone or the mayor over here. If the mayor comes here, I swear to God, if the mayor shows his face here on Melrose and this is one of his little political, like, you know, kissing babies, like little, you know, grandstand, it will change. Yeah, yeah, a hundred times. That's what we need. All right, Dom DeLuca, owner of Brooklyn Project, the skateboard shop on Melrose. Thanks for talking to us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. You heard so much honest emotion there from Dom because uh, uh, the crime is so bad. People, daytime, people pulling guns. There was a guy at the place called Shoe Palace, an employee. They were having some kind of raffle last month. Apparently a ruckus broke out. He was shot to death. 16-year-old boy arrested in the yeah. killing. But he, he nailed it. You know, he did. We're going to talk well, well, about what he said because I think what he was implying was they don't want to look like they're coming down too hard on the criminals. They don't want too much police there because, you know, you got these defund the police people always watching, right? right? And and what's hanging over everybody is uh, they don't want to be called racist. That's also a piece of the puzzle. Yeah, they'll talk more about our conversation. And again, last night, LAPD had a special town hall for concerned citizens and shop owners in Melrose. More coming up. John and Ken, KFI, Deborah Mark has news. The Department of Homeland Security has temporarily suspended horse patrols in Del Rio, Texas, following claims the border agents aggressively confronted the mostly Haitian migrants. 
Tropical storm Sam has formed in the Atlantic. It's expected to become a hurricane by tomorrow morning and a major hurricane by Saturday. The number of claims filed for unemployment benefits has gone up for the second week in a row. Labor Department says 351,000 claims were filed last week. That's a rise of 16,000 from a week earlier. We have trouble on the five, and we will check in with the KFI in the sky next. One of the worst things you can experience in life, terrible shock, is when you suddenly get into an accident and you're injured, maybe badly injured. That's when you need our friends at Sweet James Accident Attorney. You mean their head hanging by a thread. But you, suddenly your head is hanging by a thread. Yeah. You see, personal injury is the only thing Sweet James does. Uh, they've helped thousands of listeners just like you get the medical treatment that you really need, and they've recovered millions of dollars for their clients every month. If that, that, if that thread there. There's no justice in accepting a lowball, insulting offer from the uh, insurance company after your injury has changed your life. You're going to need help navigating the legal system to make sure you get medical care, uh, get your vehicle repaired. Of course, get the most amount of money possible, and you won't pay a dime until they win your case. So if you're injured in an accident, you call Sweet James, free consultation, 24-7, 800-500-5200, 800-500-5200. SweetJames.com. Get justice. Discover matches all the cash back you earn on your credit card at the end of your first year. It's amazing because Discover is accepted at 99% of places in the U.S. that take credit cards. Learn more at discover.com slash yeah. 2021 Nielsen Report limitations apply. Southland weather from KFI, partly cloudy tomorrow, highs low 80s to mid-90s. This report brought to you by Discover. We have a crash on the 5 in Burbank. The common northbound side of Hollywood Way it looks like all the actions have pulled into the center divider, but watch out here and you're seeing a slow drive getting away from olives. We've got Mike O'Brien with the latest in Brea, KFI in the Sky, sponsored by Injury Attorney, Superwoman, Superlawyer.com. South outside of the 57, looks like right at your Melinda Boulevard, a little accident to the right shoulder. And that, and we've had a construction zone in that neck of the woods. So a lot of scoring lately that's more like the morning drive. South 57, you're loading up there, just have a Brea pass from Lambert, on and off breaks down, almost to the 91 where it loosens up at Placentia. Doubles in Southern Orange County, Mission B. Five northbound at La Paz, they blocked the on-ramp there, and it's definitely a visual, I can see a big backup now, looks like back almost to the 73 through Avery Parkway, and it problems on the other side of the fence, southbound side of the 5 at Avery, the off-ramp is blocked, and that is going on and off from the El Toro Y. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, Superlawyer.com. Mike O'Brien, KFI in the sky. In Santa Monica, the 10 eastbound loading up all the way from 20th Street across Mid City to the 5 in Boyle Heights. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Angel Martinez. This report is sponsored by Grocery Outlet. Did you know that your local grocery outlet is independently owned and operated by folks in your community? This allows them to better serve their customers and give back to their community. Stop by your local grocery outlet today. I'm Susan Allen, Managing Partner at OPO Law. And if you think all personal injury attorneys are alike, you'd be surprised. All law firms are not the same. OPO Law has a 98% success rate on over 10,000 cases we have handled. And while insurance companies continue to make low-ball offers, we fight hard to get you the money you deserve. Fierce pursuit to win for you is our specialty. You don't settle your case for what the insurance company thinks it's worth. We settle your case for what we believe it's worth. For over four decades, we have gone to battle with the insurance companies and have obtained over $1 billion for injury victims. If you have been injured in an accident, dial pound 250, use keyword personal injury to connect to OPO Law. Remember, you don't pay until we win your case. OPO Law, the law firm insurance companies fear most. I'm Susan Owen, and I would be honored to handle your case. When you call down to your 50, you'll have the option of receiving an auto-dialed text message to Myheart Media. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. Have you still knocked on solar? Let me help clear up the misconception. Solar doesn't cost you money. It saves you money. And it doesn't matter where your panels are made. That's who makes them. And those $29.95 solar specials, they're not what's going to end up on your home. Sunlust left all of that behind to build a company that does solar better. Time for solar, it's time for Sunlust. Get started today at sunlust.com. That's sunlust.com. CSLB 100874. I'm attorney Darren Cavanoke from 1-800-NO-COPS. Can you do the alphabet backwards? Z-Y-S-W-V. Yeah. 
Try doing that by the side of the road. So if you get pulled over, don't ring it. Call us at 1-800-NO-COPS. At Southern California Edison, they're installing insulated power lines and using the latest technology to help keep communities Fire. safe from wildfires. Fire. Learn more at sce.com slash mitigation. Yeah, okay. Raise your fridge. Yeah, brother. Borrows your car without asking. Scratches? What scratches? He's your brother-in-law. Pay it back. He takes what's yours, and there's nothing you can do. But when identity thieves want to take what's yours, you can do something. LifeLock by Norton monitors your info and alerts you to potential threats. If you become a victim, they can help fix it. No one can prevent all identity theft or monitor all transactions at all businesses. But you can save up to 25% off your first year at LifeLock.com using promo code new.
from crime are people in the neighborhoods where the right. criminals are. That, and they're often the same racial makeup. That's what's really well, awful. In the case of Melrose, though, sometimes the criminals go where the money is. Yeah. And but if they know they can walk up to somebody in the middle of the day, rob them at gunpoint, get their jewelry or watch, and run off, and there's no consequences, we'll see more of that. Well, yeah, it'll spread. I mean, the ones who get it the worst are the people who live in the minority neighborhoods. They're the victims of a lot of the crime. But you can see Garcetti and Caress and the rest, Gaston, they don't care about that. They just don't want to be yelled at by these groups, these protest groups, who scream racism, even though the victims of the crime are um, often minorities. And what any way to remedy that? Right, you got to vote them out. This is what I hate. The next time Caress is up for re-election, there should be a big issue, and he should be given the boot. But that often doesn't happen. The city council people stay in place for such a few weeks. Term limited out. But people are paying. People are paying attention. Most people, I think, um, I because I talked to somebody who was trying to put together candidates to run against this crowd, and he says they did some research and polling. Seventy-five percent of the public cannot name their council. They don't know who it is. Cool. You you listen to our show, you know who some of them are. But probably half of the city council rarely gets mentioned, and uh, we don't know who they are. You don't know who they are. Uh, and, and, and so, so if, if three quarters of the public's not paying attention at all, they only wake up when suddenly there's 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 guns and robberies going on at Melrose Cafe. Then they wake up. Maybe. Right. When we come back, we had Steve Gregory on the show not too long ago talking about the, the three unsolved homicides in East Los Angeles going back to 2014, 2015, and 2018. There has been an arrest by the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. It's a father and son, which is kind of bizarre. We'll talk to Steve about what, what he found out in the exclusive coming up. Johnny Kenshaw, KFI, Deborah Mark has been. A federal arrest warrant has been issued for a man wanted in connection with the murder of his fiance in Wyoming. The FBI says the warrant is related to Brian Laundrie's activities after the death of Gabby Petito. Investigators say Petito's body was found in a park Sunday and her death has been ruled a homicide. Search crews have been looking for laundries for the past few days in a nature preserve in Florida. A school district in San Bernardino County has agreed to pay $11 million to settle another child sex abuse lawsuit. Lawyers say Redland School District has now paid out more than $41 million involving 10 different sexual abusers for crimes from 2000 to 2018. Lawyer Morgan Stewart says the new settlement is over Sean Lopez, who was convicted on 60 felony counts in 2006 for abusing kids younger than 13 as a teacher at Clement Middle School. If I were a parent in Redland, I would be screaming at the top of my lungs to replace all those members of that school board all the members of the cabinet of the district and get fresh blood in there. Redland School District has not responded to requests for comment. Corbin Carson, KFI News. The House has approved a bill to provide $1 billion in funding for Israel's Iron Dome defense system. The yeas are 420, the nays are 9, with two recorded as present. Eight Democrats and one Republican voted against the bill. The funding had been removed from a separate bill to prevent a government shutdown and suspend the nation's borrowing limit. A group of progressive Democrats have said they would seek the legislation unless the funding was removed. House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer then created a separate bill to help Israel protect itself from rocket attacks. Officials say the Biden administration's special envoy to Haiti has quit. They say Daniel Foote disagrees with the expulsions of Haitian migrants from Texas back to Haiti, where... There's been civil unrest and natural disasters. He was appointed as envoy in July after Haiti's president was assassinated. We have a crash on the 101 in Hollywood. Heads up here, this is where you've got emergency crews on the scene heading northbound before Barham. The track has just been rolled to the right shoulder, but we are seeing a backup out of Hollywood getting away from... Santa Monica Boulevard. Beyond the crash, the drive remains full and stretches all the way to White Oak in Encino. We've got Mike O'Brien, KFI in the Sky, sponsored by injury attorney, superwoman, superlawyer.com. He's in East L.A. Yeah, and a slow drive, but still the 10 and the 6. They're kind of running neck and neck right now. The 60 eastbound loading up pretty heavy now, but before the 710, on and off the plates out towards the 605, and it does loosen up quite a bit there. 
will be back on for roll with high speed to the the 57. Similar stuff for the 10. 10 eastbound loading up just out of City Terrace. And that's on and off the brakes into West Covina. I'm um, heading down towards Bellflower, Boyna Park, and looks like a problem maybe coming up here on the 6. Well, it looks like it's the 91 eastbound right around the 605, talking about a, a fire in the riverbed there. And it looks like that's adding to slowing now, starting at the beginning of the freeway, right out of Carson. Injured in an accident? Visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com. I go Brian KFI in the sky. Laguna Hills, 5 southbound, slowing down at Lake Forest Drive, all the way to El Toro Road. We're showing ahead when you get to the barn at Farmagus Farms, all the way to Ortega Highway. KFI in the sky, helps get you there faster. I'm Angel Martinez. Dr. Charles Manger, Saddleback Eye Center. He will give you a laser light LASIK exam for free, and this will change your life. The laser light LASIK exam measures your eyes a thousand times, perfectly matched your vision. So if you're nearsighted, farsighted, you have astigmatism, you need reading glasses, Dr. Manger very quickly can figure out exactly what the issue is. And with a LASIK procedure, correct it 100%. You get 20-20 vision or better in most cases. And I'll give you a free laser light LASIK exam if you're one of the first 14 callers. First 14 callers. Phone number coming in second. I went to him. And I walked out of there seeing 20, 20 or better. That's what happens to most people. Call now for the free laser light lacing exam with Dr. Manger at Saddleback Eye Center. 866-559-4444. 866-559-4444. Southland weather from KFI. Partly cloudy tomorrow. Highs low to mid-70s to the beaches. Low to mid-80s for Metro L.A. Mid-80s to mid-90s for the valleys around 84 inland OC, upper 80s, full 90s in the IE. We lead local live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Deborah Mark. Hey, it's Conway here. I've had many pleasant surprises throughout my career and my personal life, and my experience with Advanced Care Restoration is one of my favorites. I received their advanced FUE treatment two years ago, and I'm surprised and relieved that my own natural hair has literally replaced my bald spot. Advanced Care addresses hair loss for men and women across all ages, and I know that they can help you too. Advanced Care does it with an easy, virtually pain-free, one-day treatment. It's amazing that such a simple solution can address balding that progressed for years, or in my case, decades. Don't wait any longer. Advanced Hair's exceptional standard of care exceeds the CDC guidelines, so there's never been a better time to address your needs. For your free consultation, call 844-333-HAIR, and you're going to receive special financing, 250 free hair grants, and $250 off. One-day treatment, life-changing results. Your new hair is guaranteed to grow. 844-333-HAIR or see the before and after photos at advancedhair.com. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. What comes to mind when you think of home? Hopefully it's a safe place that protects and takes care of you. And the same should be true about the water in your home. With a light source, whole house water system, every faucet in your house becomes a convenient and safe place to enjoy filtered, delicious water. Light source is maintenance free. You can say goodbye to salt bags, filter changes, monthly exchange tanks. If you're tired of dealing with hard water problems, light source can reduce them. Life Force gets rid of the odor and taste of chlorine without using salt or chemicals. And without the drying effects of chlorine, you'll notice softer skin and hair with every bath and shower. With Life Force water, you buy a customized solution direct from the factory with installation and support. The factory has served Southern California for over 37 years, and everything is U.S. made. Call Life Source today for full service and full confidence in your water. Call 800-334-5009. 800-334-5009. 5009 or visit lifesourcewater.com. Life Source Water, taste and feel the difference. For official rules and more information about contests on this station, go to kfiam640.com slash rules. KFI AM640. I Heart Radio Station. 24-hour news. More stimulating talk. Talk about the 10 Champs on KFI and live everywhere in the iHeartRadio app. All right, uh, about a month or so ago, we had Steve Gregory on the air at L.A. County Sheriff's Department was trying to solve some, uh, you know, unsolved homicides in the community of East Los Angeles. In 2014, 2015, and then one in 2018, uh, the murders, well, we'll talk about them again 
in detail are kind of strange in that you wouldn't necessarily link them together in shooting, apparently the shooting of a homeless woman inside a tent. Uh, but they have made an arrest. And the other weird thing about the story is the two that they arrested are a father and a son. So let's get Steve on with his exclusive. Uh, yeah. Father and son murderers. Now, you remember me telling you this off the air a month ago? Yes. Okay, so we weren't allowed to talk about it on the record. Correct. Yeah. But we all knew about this, and we knew that this was going, I should say we all, but I mean, a couple of us knew that this is where it was headed, because when we talked about this story off the air, so that was it, it, that was sort of the interesting twist to all of this, is that if you go back, as Ken mentioned in the setup, 2014 was the first murder, followed by the 2015 and 2018. Now, the murders were being looked at individually. So different detectives were looking at these three cases individually over the years. The way the Los Angeles County Homicide Bureau is set up, they have a central, like a big uh, bullpen, and all these detectives are sitting together. And it affords for all this communication, and, and they, they are always sitting around talking about stuff, and they're exchanging notes and stuff, and eventually people start to realize they might be talking about similarities in cases, and that's sort of the big benefit. They all help each other out. And in this case, they started to realize there were some similarities in these three murders over this four-year span. So as cold case detectives started to look at it a little closer, they realized there was a common theme. And the common theme was, was the same killer. So they started to really dig a little deeper. And this thing didn't really start to come to fruition until last year. Well, they realized that the connection was that this guy had some sort of relationship with the other, with these three people. Well, we come to find out, the woman that he killed in 2018 is his ex-girlfriend. So homeless woman. Yes. You know, she didn't used to be homeless until she, uh, so she was homeless when she got killed. Right. But, this, but the funny thing is, is, according to her mother, she didn't become homeless until she bought drugs from the guy who killed her. Ah. Mm. And if you go back a little further, come to find out, the, the guy that was killed in 2015 used to date the girl. Oh. The guy yeah. that was killed in 2014 used to date the girl. <laughs> oh, boy. So two of them were ex-boyfriends of the girl. Right. And then the killer. Yeah, the final one. Right. Boy, right. she, uh, she, she picked out quite a crew there. Yeah. So that was a little bit of an interesting twist. So they really separated out the killing time period, too. I yeah. Mean, they killed the woman until you know, three and years after the last Did they know the, the, the specific motivation for each murder? Or did it have to do with the relationship to that woman? Well, they did say that in each instance there was some sort of an altercation or fight prior to the death. So prior to whatever killing or something, there was some sort of an exchange. So they're presumably based on that, that there was a reason. So we just don't know that specifically. They said that the common theme again was that there was a there was some sort of a close relationship between the two of them individually to the woman. Um, then, <laughs> as time went on, and they started to realize that they were starting to focus in on this particular person. They were able to grab some grainy surveillance footage, and the one footage, a uh, piece of footage from the East L.A. courthouse is where the homeless encampment was, where the, the women were, in a tent outside of Hilda Solis' field. <laughs> and um, the footage shows a man walking tent to tent to tent, and then the final tent puts a shotgun inside the oh, opening, and then oh. opens fire. Yeah, that convinced us it wasn't random. Right. The... Other footage shows a PT Cruiser, and a PT Cruiser is a very unusual looking vehicle. Yeah. And and the, the joke was, and I, I'm, I'm not making light of any of this, but they, I was being told the joke is you never see a PT Cruiser.